My name is uh, George Matthew and um, as I've seen in question, I'm, I'm born and brought up uh, in Hyderabad, though my parents are from Kerala, both of them are uh, from Kerala, uh, but I was born and brought up there. And um, I did my post-graduation from there uh, and also did my Bachelor of Education. Uh, I was into teaching senior students there uh, of grade uh, 12 and undergraduates and that kind of level. I came in here to the UAE and started uh, my career into the schools, Indian schools. GEMS organization I think is well known all over. It's a single provider of private education all over the world. And uh, we have uh, lots of great things to say. We have all kinds of curricula. We have uh, the American Board, the IB, the uh, IGCSC, the uh, ICSC, CBSC and all. But this particular school is a CBSC uh, catering school. And uh, with about 45 years of teaching experience or teaching uh, uh, tradition for GEMS education, we've come a long way. Uh, the basic quality teacher should have is to teach from the heart. When I say that, what I mean is emotionally connected and passionate about teaching. That's very important for a teacher because if a teacher uh, teaches as a professional with a with a kind of a BA program and uh, just delivering the content uh, and not really reaching out and touching the hearts of uh, of students, then there's something that's missing out in that whole transaction. Uh, teacher is really not able to connect with this child's uh, capability, potential, and try and develop that. So a teacher needs to connect there first. And once that connection is made between the student and teacher, then there is a lot more of learning taking place at their own pace. The students develop at their own pace in different uh, stages of learning and different styles of learning. So when teacher connects with the student, these are the things that come up in play and teacher is uh, very confident and more uh, capable enough to move the student from one level to the other. A teacher's uh, role is is more and more like a, uh, like a professional who is going to be doing quite a lot of uh, the new technology into teaching and learning. So the challenge they would face for a teacher who is coming from a different space and time would be to actually get, because today's uh, learner is a digital learner, today's learner is, uh, is more of, you know, is getting quite a lot more from the digital media. So. Uh, teachers need to be equipped technically to actually reach out to them and look at their trends and learning and try and follow that. That's one challenge they have. The other challenge is uh, uh, bringing uh, focus and attention for students to be able to really achieve certain things that motivate them to achieve things in life which uh, are now so distributed to them and the choices are so many for them. For them to actually zero out on one or two or three things and uh, follow that kind of a pathway is uh, is a difficult thing for a uh, for a child. A child has got so many fares in front of him, so many options and choices. And so, to the teacher's role is now to a challenge to make that child to understand what his core strength is and what his actual passion is for, and that has to be developed and made the child to pursue that pathway. So that's the challenge the child teacher has today. It could be a science teacher or a, or a social science teacher or a math teacher. The passion for that subject should come from within of the child, where the child has to be uh, having a different potential for a different uh, stream of education. So teacher needs to know that and combine that and bring it together. Now if I consider myself to be a teacher, uh, then I behave uh, from the, uh, the other side of the, of the table. But if I consider myself to be an adult learner, along with the students I'm sitting and learning, so this is why I always keep telling my staff and my students, I'm the first learner. When the parent comes in to meet me on, uh, on the orientation days, I say, you are meeting the first learner of the school. I'm learning every day from your students, from you, from teachers, from everybody, so we're all learning. But what's the difference between your child's learning and my learning and our learning is because your child is learning as a child and we are learning as adults. So our learning is more quicker, more faster, more connected. So what we pass on to your child is that skill of how to become more faster, more better than us as learners. 
and they they pick up from there so and what we do for teachers after having that philosophy built into our community we make the teachers go through what we call as continuous professional development which happens every two days a week and uh, this is where we take up a kind of a, 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 a thing to to proficiently uh, deliver and then have some practices some kind of people talking about it so gems has got a, a great uh, corporate uh, uh, continuous professional development program they come up with a whole list of calendar saying that we are having differentiation all across the schools so you can register for that and have you to have a couple of hours of uh, training on that or a workshop on it so they go through that training and like that we have exposure to many different strategies and ways and tools of learning from the corporate and even within you now for example the other day we had what we call as the uh, the uh, uh, what you call as my identity program that's being pushed by by adec so my identity is to understand where we are appreciate our uh, our host who the ua and know what best things they can do through their culture through their language to their and have them to to be recognized for that so we had a whole workshop on that and teachers now able to they came in yesterday and they found that we were on top of the game doing that incorporating the my identity program into our school so we had sessions on that with the teachers and teachers are now ready to deliver that if you go around the school you'll see a quite a lot more of that being you know projected so uh, your question uh, teacher is the first learner i would say head teacher is the first learner and teachers are adult learners who learn along with children the future of education as everybody is saying is artificial intelligence and people moving towards that and the digital age and all of that going beyond the horizons uh i would say wherever you go you have to put your foot down on the uh, on the ground and learn and get connected with what is the human race and how you can make human race the most adored and most crown of creation and if that's where you want to take it you need to get connected with with, with humanity and then take on with the technology and move forward